Welcome back to the channel everyone, the Santa Maria here and as promised, this is the part two of my BDK Parfums sampling video. We're going to determine are these next five, yes five fragrances from the house of BDK, full bottle worthy or not. Um, as I stated, this is the part two video. There is a part one, definitely check that out. Part one, in my opinion, contains more of the crowd favorite more known fragrances but part two to me contains some fragrances that aren't talked about as much and that's why i'm excited about it because to me when you test fragrances that aren't talked about as much usually there's a hidden gem in there in my opinion so i'm very excited so as stated before we have five fragrances from bdk that we will be sampling and giving a first impression on as always when it comes to first impressions this is literally me smelling it getting my feel for it and just talking about it this is not a full dedicated review full dedicated reviews happen when I have the full bottle of something so that's how I break it down and distinguish between the two here on the channel and so my new elves know how we do things as always before we get into this sampling again you know what we must do first lipstick of the day everyone we are giving cool tone navy blue vibes with a nudie lip this is mac cherish oh by the way happy belated national lipstick day it was a whole thing and there were a lot of sales happening too but again mac cherish is your lipstick of the day next step to keep with the cool toned kind of feeling like fall vibe i went with a cooler toned or not cooler toned fall fragrance in my opinion and i finished out my sample of killian's black phantom so that's what i'm smelling like so basically i smell like coffee and rum goodness right now and i'm okay it's a vibe very unisex again killian's black phantom is your fragrance of the day all right so now let's get into sampling these fragrances from the house of bdk parfums <laughs> the first fragrance we're going to sample this is bdk an official sample as always and this is creme de coeur creme de coeur and i've noticed too these have the colored boxes so i like this so a little information about creme de coeur it retails for 215 dollars and let's get into the notes while i put this sample on a test strip notes we have mandarin bergamot pineapple heart notes pink berries solar accord white suede sandalwood then the base notes are absolute vanilla birch and musk i'm gonna be honest when i saw that pineapple was a top note for this fragrance i was like yeah this probably not gonna go well but anywho let's smell it again mm. and yeah me and pineapple do not get along in fragrances so this is a no for me creme de coeur i get that pineapple and mandarin up top because i'm looking at the notes here on my ipad but it's mixing weird with the birch and the musk so to me this scent it leans more masculine yes a lady could pull this off but it's kind of masculine to me like pineapple just really leans masculine at least on my skin and to my nose it's okay but i would rather smell this on a man so for me creme de coeur is a no so this one is not full bottle worthy glad i sampled this and did not blind buy that's for sure the next fragrance we're going to talk about this is bdk's wood jasmine now let me tell you wood jasmine when i read the notes when i was placing my order for my samples the notes alone in this one got me excited the notes in wood jasmine are top note is plum and pear if you know you know if it has plum in it you have my attention and pear has been having a moment lately but for me it is always the plum note so that right there i said okay i'm intrigued heart notes we have jasmine of egypt sambac jasmine rose of turkey devon i don't know what that is base notes we have incense of somalia vanilla of madagascar patchouli of indonesia labdanum of spain and cipriol nagramoth okay this is real fancy again it's the plum note for me <laughs> and i do like jasmine sandbag i've been having a total moment with that this summer so yeah let's get into wood jasmine wood jasmine retails for 215 dollars not sure if i stated that <laughs> mm. <laughs> i like this i like wood jasmine i do it's fruity because of that plum and that pear up top, but it has an incense vibe. Oh, this is nice. 
this is a cold weather fruity scent so honestly yes it is july when i'm filming this video but this is a scent i could totally see myself wearing at the end of september going into october for sure mm. and i will say this one hugs the skin too because i did wear it one evening just to play in it being nosy and yeah this hugs the skin this one actually lasts so okay wood jasmine checks off the boxes for me hmm mm. okay i really like this that plum is so pronounced in here if you are a plum lover like myself you're gonna like wood jasmine from bdk and to me this is one of the scents that is really not talked about this is an unsung hero this is a slept on scent in this fragrance house in my opinion i know everybody hypes up rouge smoking passe soir grease right now which don't get me wrong grease right now and passe soir i do like y'all know this i do approve of but when we're talking fruity wood jasmine is is giving the fall fruity passe soir is giving spring summer to me but wood jasmine is giving that winter that fall and winter fruity i like this i like this wood jasmine is a yes for me this next fragrance is so talked about is hype because it's one of the latest releases if not is it the latest no it's not the latest it's one of the latest and last two to three fragrances they've come out with this one has received so much hype in the fragrance community and i am talking about none other than gris charnel the extra so of course i had to get a sample of it to try out and i do like the bottle the bottle is black and sexy so i do appreciate them making the extra version look different from the original version of rich Chanel. makes it easier on your vanity so you're not confused over which one you're grabbing so Grease Chanel Extra because it is more concentrated it does cost more the full price is 280 dollars but the notes this is interesting and i'm gonna tell you me and this one me and this thing we've had a journey i'll talk about it in a minute so top notes we have cardamom essence black tea extract and fig accord heart notes are absolute iris from morocco citrus essence bourbon vetiver from madagascar then base notes we have patchouli essence from indonesia vanilla absolute from madagascar and sandalwood essence so let me tell you also too this was concentrated at 30 percent. so this is strong by perfume standards this is definitely stronger it is a true extra it's stronger than an eau de parfum so that's very important ah woof. let me tell you the opening of this one is very masculine it's much more smokier than the original one to me the original opens more sweeter more so unisex this one opens more so more masculine and i will say the opening turned me off at first this was one i had to wear on my skin before i could really make an opinion off of it and then i was like okay I get it i do like it i do personally feel myself reaching for the original gris charnel just easier because it's a little bit sweeter and it's more feminine in my opinion however the extra is deeper and i would wear this one more so cold weather this is definitely giving cold weather because once i got past the opening the dry down is sexy and it then i could smell that real gris charnel dna so i do like it i do i do and this is why I like to buy samples and play with fragrances before I just run out and buy things. You know, I preach that to you all. Try to avoid blind buying as much as possible. But this is a scent that truly took me on a journey. Grease Chanel Extra? You full bottle worthy. You full bottle worthy. I gotta give it to you. The hype is real. You're good. You're good. But I will say I want to purchase the original first. Then I will get the Extra. That is how I'm feeling about this. Okay. I like it very smoky very rich but then that figginess comes out and i like it again that is a green charnel extra this next one is a little bit controversial because it is so polarizing either you either love it or you hate it so i was like what is going on but personally based on the notes i already knew i said i'm gonna be on team i love this just the notes alone and the scent i am talking about for bdk that is very polarizing and this is velvet tonka yes velvet tonka which i'm like Ooh, velvet and tonka i said obviously this is gonna have tonka bean in it so uh yes yeah, sign me up let's get into velvet tonka notes we have orange blossom and almond y'all know i love almond so i'm already sold 
Hard notes, we have Rose Absolute, Tobacco Absolute from the Balkans. And then the base notes are Tonka Bean Absolute, Vanilla Absolute from Madagascar, Amorous Wood Essence, and Amber Woods. So yeah, it's the Tonka Bean and it's the Almond for me. That's what we're rocking with. So now let's get into Velvet Tonka all the way. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, the best way to sum this scent up <laughs> adult baby powder. That is what this smells like. Velvet Tonka smells like adult baby powder. Powdery almond goodness because Tonka bean makes things powdery to me. Almond especially, you get that nuttiness from the almond. Straight up, I love this. This is easy, it's very fresh. Again, adult baby powder. This is when you don't know what to wear. You're going into a new situation. You're not quite sure who's gonna be there. Do I need to dress to impress or not? That is Velvet Tonka. This is an easy reach when I just wanna smell good and I know I'm gonna smell good, but I ain't necessarily trying to rock the boat, do too much, it's not a heavy hitter situation. It's just easy, I like this. Mmm. This is a fall clean scent because of the almond note. Like almonds, I love in the fall time. I actually eat almonds, so yes, I am an almond eater and I love the smell of them. I really, really like this. I do. And you know what? Velvet Tonka to me is literally what I thought Dior's Hypnotic Poison was gonna be because everybody hypes it up because of the almond note in it. And I hate that fragrance. This is the almond powdery goodness that I was wanting in a fragrance. This is it. So for me, I absolutely think Velvet Tonka is a yes. It is full bottle worthy. I really like this. Very, very nice. I like it. Then the last fragrance we're going to talk about, this one I was very lucky to receive as a free sample in another purchase of a fragrance I did. This is Oud Abramad. Oud Abramad. This one is not talked about at all to me. It's just, I, that's why when I saw it, I said, oh, this is a BDK scent. I'm like, I've never heard any commentary on it. But to be fair, BDK is a very extensive house. Like when you go on their website, they have so many fragrances. And that's why I'm reading all the notes you all from the official website because no shade for granted, I'll be creating notes sometime and I just can't. <laughs> so let's get into the notes of Oud Abramad. Let's see, top notes are saffron, ginger. Heart notes are rose of turkey and cumin. Base notes are argo wood, guayac wood, rock rose, incense, patchouli, castorum, and orchinox. This one, I was like, I have no idea what's gonna happen with this thing, cause this is all over the place for me. But based on all these woods, especially when I'm seeing guayac wood, and then when I saw coon, I'm like, this might be a little masculine. But again, it was a free sample. Not gonna complain, you know? So, hey, it's more content for the elves. <laughs> so let's get into Oud Abrama, y'all. This is masculine incense. I can't wear this. Nope. Mm. Masculine incense Udi. The name is appropriate. It's having Oud in. This is for a man. Yeah. I can't do anything with this. Yeah, a man could wear this. But even still, to me, I would only want to smell this on a man. I think this needs to be worn on a man that's over 40. Because anybody younger is going to date them. It's going to age them. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm not crazy about Ooh Abramad. I mean, yay to have it in the collection. It is a very different scent. None of these scents smell just alike, so I gotta give BDK that. All of their scents are versatile. They are truly a unique, well-rounded house, so I gotta give them their props. But yeah, Ooh Abramad is not for me, honey. It's for the men's, honey. Yeah, Ooh Abramad is enough for me. <laughs> So, all right, Elves, that wraps up part two of me sampling BDK fragrances. I think I'm done, but there are a few more left in the house that I do want to sample. Like, I will say Tobac Rose is on my list. Bouquet de Henri is on my list. I keep hearing a lot about it. So, we'll see. I don't know. But to be fair, I feel like I've had a well-rounded sampling. I've sampled a total of 10 fragrances at this point from them. So for me, I do have a grasp of the house and that's what I always like to do before I purchase from the house. So yeah, I know which one will be my first purchase. And yeah, stay tuned for that at a later date. It'll be coming soon. <laughs> Until next time, Elves, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.